<clears throat> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of On Again with Andre Glenn. Today, I'm super excited because I'm getting ready to unbox the PE800 embroidery machine and a lot more. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. I'm not going to open it with that. But I am going to open it with a razor blade. All right. All right, it's already cut there. This is... All right. So I got my shipping information here. That's the reason why the side was already open, huh? All right. All right, so it comes with a lot of information here. I see. Real quick, comes with a quick reference guide, embroidery designs guide. Yeah, I'm gonna need all of this. Operation manual. Operation manual not in English. Another operation manual not in English. All right. Warranty information. All right. What else we got in here? Um, okay, so this is the bag to cover it, I believe. So it comes with a bag to cover it to keep the uh, dust away. So when it's sitting over there in the corner, I plan on putting this in the corner and using it on the table when I need to use it. It won't collect dust. Uh, then it comes with the five by seven hoop. So this PE 800 comes with a five by seven hoop. Um, that's the maximum size uh, that you can do on this embroidery machine. And in case you guys don't know, you really can't do hats on this. I mean, you can do unstructured hats, but I mean, you kind of got to. It's, it's just not really designed for that, but you know, we'll see. So it comes with a plug. Got my plug. Oh, wait. Comes with polyester uh, embroidery bobbin thread. Styrofoam, styrofoam, baby. All right, so this is the embroidery arm. All right. And this is the machine. I'm gonna move this box out of the way. All right, y'all, I'll move the table so y'all can see a little bit better without moving the camera around. All right, so y'all can see we got the machine itself. All right, it's got some styrofoam around it protecting the uh, needle. And here is the arm, and the price of these have gone up. All right, so this is embroidery only. Um, so I'll have it linked down in the description below. Uh, but you know, you're looking at about, I think it's like eight sixty six right now for this um, to nine hundred right now for this brand new. Um, it's funny because somebody just mentioned uh, that if you're new to embroidery or new to sewing, don't get a used machine. And so I didn't. Um, I do see some used machines that cost somewhere around six to five hundred on eBay and all these different places. Offer up Facebook Marketplace. 
Um, I because I'm new to it, I don't want to run into tension issues right off the bat. So I just went ahead and just got a brand new one with the warranty on it. Uh, these do come with like 25 year warranties um, from brother. Uh, and then uh, two year special warranties, depending on where you get it from. If you get one used from eBay or something like that, they do have like the service where you can get like it certified or something like that, but it's gonna cost you more doing it that way because I think the seller has to go through something and the buyer has to pay for what the seller is going through, you know. But uh, be careful if you get it used. I wouldn't get it used if you don't know what, what you're dealing with. So I'm completely new to this. I know about apparel, but I'm like real new to this. All right. So there's the needle. We just moved the styrofoam off the needle and it looks like it has more tape here protecting the door where the bobbin goes. Paper protecting the bobbin door. And this is where the bobbin goes. Pop that up. It's already got a bobbin in there, like an empty bobbin. Y'all can see that, but it's an empty bobbin in there. So I'm gonna put this door back. Okay, that pops back like that. And we're gonna slide this in. It's got like a little circuit here. A circuit here so it's like all right let's slide this in and this is embroidery only so it's five by seven hoop so that means i can do a, a design this big roughly and i can do design smaller so the good thing about this for me is a lot of businesses just want that left chest print, right? So I can just do a left chest print. Even though this hoop is pretty big to do a left chest print, I know I could do something like this or something like this, you know, but uh, I got something for that too. So I'm gonna unbox that in a second. I do have some uh, more hoops, all right? So this goes. I don't even know how this goes. Also, there's some more tape here. There's tape everywhere, B. All right. Take the tape off here. All right, so... This is the thread holder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up and then start unboxing some more stuff that I have to go with this. Plug it up back here. And then the power switch is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that power switch now. Ooh. It lights up. I'm not gonna hold you up. It's a very nice screen. I wish somebody would sell replacement colors of these. I'm not necessarily a fan of this, these colors, but um, I wish it was just a solid color, but you know, it is what it is. Is that how you lift that up? All right, so that's lifted. All right, let me just set this with this again. All right, let's move this off to the side. Let's get to the rest of this stuff. I'm gonna try to lift this stuff up so that we're not showing the address. 
Let's see what else we got. This is gonna be a surprise for me. All right, so I got some applique scissors, okay? Some applique scissors. I'll link those down in the description below. All right. I think those were like $24 for the, the pair. I got some pre-wound bobbins. Now, if you guys out there do use the um, P800 and you know of any better pre-wound bobbins aside from these, let me know. Uh, if you think that these are gonna create or generate a problem, let me know. These are the pre-wound bobbins that I ordered. All right. These are the size A 90 weight, 90 WT. It's 144 of them. They sell pre-wound bobbins at, uh, or bobbins um, at Walmart. They actually sell a lot of brother stuff at Walmart actually. So I even picked up some extra needles from Walmart. Uh, these are the multi-pack needles. So I got the 75 by 11 and 90 by 14 and the 100 by 16. Then I got the Fisker scissors also as well. Um, I don't know what kind of scissors I need. I'm just getting all that I need. I got some uh, adhesive as well uh, for spraying the fabric uh, to make sure that my tear away and cut away stabilizer sticks to the garment. All right. So I also got some uh, tear away. I also have some more tear away uh, over there, more fabric style, water soluble stabilizer as well. All right, that's a lot. All right. Then I have some thread. You need thread, okay? So I got this thread from Amazon, it's 63 um, different colors. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I got some thread that was, would definitely work with um, Brother. I made my purchase based off of the description and you know what it said it worked with. So I got this high quality thread, I'll link that in the description as well. So, comes with a little color card, the information. I tried to find a starter kit. I didn't see an embroidery starter kit uh, on Amazon. So, maybe I should have Googled it, but, you know, y'all let, let people know what, what some of the better starter kits are if you guys know of them out there. But yeah, I got plenty of colors here. Also got some more hoops, right? So yeah, this looks like it's for the PE 800, right? So embroidery hoops four in one. You can see what it comes with on the back. So the point of this for me is, you know, get my feet wet, you know, to learn embroidery. I've been really inspired by some of uh, uh, the people that I've seen grow with embroidery. And like I said, a lot of businesses use embroidery and a lot of them just want left chest hits. So, I mean, I've been to the dealership and been paying attention to people walking around with like the left chest hit. And I'm like, all I see is green when I see that, you know? Yeah, there's your four. I know that if you split the design into two parts, you can actually use this hoop and make a larger design. And then we got all the little doohickeys to help you center 
your image. So, I can only imagine the amount of things you have to get with a big boy machine. All right. So, I got 50 Orkin needles. All right, 75 by 11 Orkin needles. All right. All right, so my main focus is to embroider on apparel. That is my main focus, all right? So t-shirts, hoodies, maybe a hat, beanies, things like that, right? I also got an additional little kit from Walmart where I can just kind of like use, I got, it comes with like pins and something for me to stick the pins in with and some additional scissors for fabric and you know, I don't even know how to use half of these things, but I know I, I can use probably this uh, white pencil. And it's so messed up. It really should have came with a pencil sharpener, but it's all good. So, got that. And I got one more thing over here. I should have had one of these a long time ago, y'all. I should have had one of these forever ago. That is a cutting mat, a self-healing cutting mat, all right? So if I'm gonna be cutting fabric, and you know, I don't know if you've been watching the channel, but every once in a while, you can tell it's a couple cuts in this uh, work table, this workbench table. And you know, I really don't like it, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So, that's it, man. I'll link everything I can in the description below. I do have more thread. I do have other things. But, you know, it's time and place for everything, y'all. So, that's it, y'all. If you guys want to go on this journey with me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you got anything out of this video, hit the like button. And make sure you turn that notification bell on if you do subscribe so that you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. And if you have questions, leave it in the comment section below. Until next time, y'all, peace.